America today is blinded by red and blue. But not how our flag depicts these colors. We are blinded by either red or blue. Not both, not a beautiful mix of purple or even neighboring with blue and red stripes and stars. We are nothing like how we are supposed to be. Mixing these colors, these ideals of how to run our country in harmony. Our nation is divided. We are so caught up in having the correct political view that we cease to understand that our constant rejection of ideals from opposing parties is getting us nowhere in America. Political polarization is leading us to becoming a nation cut in half, a nation torn apart. Who can blame us though when the world around us is completely divided as well? Did you know that 77% of media surrounding Trump is negative? Did you know that 64% of media surrounding Hillary Clinton is negative. This may not come as a surprise. You may be thinking the only reason this is true is because of all the skeletons in each of their closets. And maybe you're right. But did you know that 80% of media coverage on political issues such as immigration, healthcare, economy, international trade, domestic relations, fitness for office, Russia, the election, personal background, personnel, foreign defense, and terrorist threats are all negative. This relates to both sides of the spectrum. 80% of all of our media is negative. 80% of the words we hear on our TVs as it plays in the background of our day-to-day -day lives is ridden with negativity. No wonder we are so divided. A family member of mine recently told me I was not allowed to go to the University of California Berkeley for college, not because it wasn't a good school, not because I couldn't get a great education. No, it's not condoned for me to go to UC Berkeley for college because it's too liberal. Another family member told me I couldn't attend the University of Mississippi, not because it doesn't have a great business program, not because it's too close to home. No, it's not condoned for me to go to the University of Mississippi because it's too conservative. My future of education, my future, is ostensibly determined by something as simple as a political opinion. These encounters with my family are a representation of America as a whole. We are split, we are closed-minded, we are unwilling to listen to one another. We are broken. It's time to fix ourselves. The first step in fixing the problem is admitting we have a problem. We need to remind not only ourselves, but political extremists that continuing to hate and shame the sides we don't agree with is anything but beneficial to our country. Fire can't be fought with fire. Alongside of this, we need to educate students and encourage them to always look at both sides of the story. Our schools need to implement regulations that require teacher and faculty to shed light onto both sides of political stories, not just one biased story. Young people are the future of politics. We as students are the future of politics, the future of our country. Parents, educators, give your children access to both sides of a story, even if they don't line up with your political views. Our students' educated voices are the future. Without our voice, our future is dim. Let's make our voice educated, let's make our voice unified, and let's make our voice heard.